Hey, what up, everybody? Um, just gonna be talking about Justin Fields securing that starting job. Um, super excited. Um, as a Bears fan, you know, we haven't had quarterback ever, so you know, hopefully, this is the guy that leads us to the promised land and becomes, you know, one of the best of our time in terms of Bears, <laughs> Bears history. Um, you know, I can't wait to see what the rest of the season holds. I believe, um, you know, I, people people want to talk about this Cleveland Browns game. Uh, you know, I don't really put that on fields. That's really, uh, that's on the coaching end. Um, it was a terrible game plan. They didn't help him at all. Didn't play to his strengths. And let's look at it one week ahead of time. And look, we see that, um, you know, the Lions were a much easier test. But with the game plan, we didn't look like a crappy team. We actually looked pretty confident. And just seeing him make those deep passes, I was at the game. So just seeing him hit that deep pass to Mooney, just the crowd erupted. Like, it was insane, like, how excited, you know, how exciting that was. And just, like, that wasn't even the only pass. He had the um, deep route to uh, Allen Robinson where he got him, like, only where Allen Robinson could catch the ball. And then same with Mooney, like, that crazy sideline, like, right in the basket kind of throw. And, like, this is why he's going to be the starter. This is why we drafted him. This is why he should have been second quarterback in the draft, not 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 the fifth. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm just excited. You know, it's been a long time. Uh, we got the clown Nagy, um, you know, trying to hold on to Andy Dalton as much as possible. I believe in my personal opinion, I believe Matt Nagy got sat down by the McCaskies, probably Ted Phillips and, you know, the owners and stuff and said like, hey, you got to start this kid. We don't understand why you keep saying uh, Andy Dalton's going to be the starter, but it's just not going to happen. You know, we need we need this kid in. The fans want him in. I don't think I wouldn't mind if we went like one in 15 with Justin Fields as long as like he's getting reps because I, I just don't understand how you can learn on the bench. You can only learn so much. You got to be able to play the game, go in, read coverages and, you know, it's the whole game. It's part of the game. You got to play the game to understand the game. You know, because, yeah, you might be seeing it from the sidelines, but it's way different being on the field, looking at coverages, seeing how players rotate and whatnot. But, you know, this kid should have been starting week one. The people that said, like, Andy Dalton deserved a chance, I, I never really understood it. It's not like he was coming off a great season. He was coming off a mediocre, subpar, maybe even below average season for Andy Dalton. And it's like he was supposed to save the Bears. Like, like, no disrespect to Andy Dalton, but it just wasn't happening. And then I don't understand why Nick Foles is still on the roster. Um, you know, I guess per injury, I guess. But uh, Bears should be trying to look to trade him, get some value from him. And hopefully, uh, you know, maybe a running back or, you know, some later round draft picks in the next couple seasons. You know, just something because we don't really need Nick Foles on the roster at the moment. Um, just a couple things going ahead. I want to see um, next week. I just want to see a consistent, a consistent game plan. So, yeah, we had a great game plan this last week against Detroit. We better have another great one against the Raiders. And I'm not saying we have to be scoring 40, 50, 60 points a game. But if we can score at least three touchdowns during the game, I believe the offense did its job. And the defense, I think, is going to be able to hold teams under 20 points in most games so I believe scoring three touchdowns should be the goal for the our offense at the moment but um but I just want to see consistency so we better be running the ball I know David Montgomery he's got hurt um hopefully we can see more Khalil Herbert which which is like I've, I've been really wanting to see this kid play um so he gets a chance to hopefully get get some carries over uh Damian Williams and and yeah I'm just excited man it's a great time to be a Bears fan um, I don't remember the last time we really had like a quarterback like this talented. Um, I guess Jay Cutler, but you know Jay Cutler was Jay Cutler. He's smoking Jay, you know. So um, he, he wasn't really the he wasn't really the guy. But hey, you know it's it's sad to say that Jay Cutler owns the majority of the Bears' quarterback records. So that just goes to show like how mediocre our quarterback play's been ever since we've been created as a football team. Um, I'm trying to think any any other thoughts um yeah i'm just excited i think we're gonna do well against the raiders if we could pull a win out there that's gonna be huge for us would be uh three and two and then um i think we got green bay after that which is a huge game um 
And yeah, I'm just glad football is back. It's Justin Fields' time. Um, let me know if you guys think he's starting too early. He should be on the bench. Um, I'm just excited to be a Bears fan at the moment. It's been a it's been a roller coaster, but I, I can't wait. Uh, bear down, go Bears, and go Justin Fields, man. I'm hoping by the end of the season we get to say he's the rookie of the year and we have a bright future ahead of us. So I'm gonna say my prediction. I bet we end the season on a nine and seven. We're gonna end the season on nine and seven. Right, until then, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Like and subscribe.